Elapidae. This group of venomous snakes contains some of the deadliest on earth. Tiger snakes, king cobras, and more belong to this family. Now, these snakes are known far and wide for their potent and life-threatening bites. But did you know you might have one of these snakes right in your own backyard? That's right, the United States is home to a handful of elapids in the form of our native coral snakes. Like much of their larger relatives, these snakes are equipped with a powerful neurotoxic venom. But just how deadly are their bites really? Today I'm setting out to answer this very question. Why? Because that's what I do. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and deadliest creatures alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most dangerous and misunderstood animals. Today I find myself in some beautiful piney woods in central Florida. And I have a feeling I may just run into the exact animal I'm looking for. So folks, still nothing. Uh, there was a little bit of sprinkling rain. We're kind of in a little bit of a uh, break from it, but I'm hoping it doesn't continue because it just might kind of put a dampener on things. We're still hopeful. We've got a few hours of light left in the day, um, but with this overcast weather, that could, that could change pretty quickly. So wish us luck because... Uh, We'd really like to get a few more things done today. The poor weather conditions were impeding our search for spiders, but it seems this was the perfect conditions to encourage Florida's native elapid to slither out in search of food. I spotted the telltale tricolored bands of a coral snake, and after I realized what I saw, I sprung into action. Coral snake, coral what? Snake, coral snake. No! <laughs> what the heck? Check this out! Oh my careful, gosh. Careful, 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 careful. Oh no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Look at this, bro. What the heck? Eastern coral snake. My life for Eastern <laughs> coral. <laughs> yes. Oh man, all day we've been saying, oh, it's a pretty good coral snakey day out here. And check it out. Finally, this is my first coral snake in the US. I get skunked on them every time I go out looking for them. And I have finally got the Elapid of Florida. Oh, oh what the man. hell? Was it just like moving? Just slithering, just out. Just, it's a nice overcast day. These animals, uh, there's some there's some studies to potentially show that uh, they can kind of operate in these lower temperatures because their main food is other snakes. So if they can kind of get the drop on some of these other snakes, it might be a little chilly on a day like today. Uh, they are gonna get a big, juicy, fantastic meal. Oh my gosh. The colors are fantastic. What a beautiful, beautiful snake. Not a bite you would want to take, but a fantastic snake I couldn't resist getting a hold of. Wow. Now, like I mentioned, the coral snakes here in the US possess a powerful neurotoxic venom that works quickly to paralyze their main prey, other snakes. That's right, the coral snakes are reptile specialists and feed primarily on lizards and other snakes in particular. This means that they need a fast-acting, paralyzing venom to quickly take down their fellow reptiles. Now, unlike the smaller Arizona coral snake, the eastern coral snakes can regularly push three feet in length, making them an impressive venomous snake capable of injecting a fair dose of venom. With neurotoxic snakes, the major concern is generally what sets in fairly quickly after a bite, which is respiratory paralysis. You see, the venom comes in and starts to actively attack the nervous system, interrupting the body's way of communicating and interrupting its major systems from functioning. Without medical assistance, a person could potentially suffocate to death after their diaphragm becomes paralyzed. Although their bites could be serious, these snakes are luckily incredibly shy and hesitant to bite unless they're feeding or they feel they have no other option when defending themselves. But we'll have to find out more to see just how deadly these snakes and their bites truly are. <laughs> Folks, 
I cannot believe our luck. We have been having one of the best days ever. This kind of overcast and drizzly uh, evening that we're in right now, I was starting to get a little discouraged. I was going, man, this might make it a little tough to film some of the spiders we're trying to come out here and find today. But oh my gosh. Right here, my Crurus fulvius, the eastern coral snake, my first ever wild coral snake here in the United States. And what a beautiful animal it is. Wow, absolutely spectacular little elapid here. These have an incredibly potent neurotoxic bite. I do not want to be bitten by this snake. And although it might seem like I'm kind of playing with lady luck here, I have a ton of experience handling venomous snakes in the wild. And uh, this is going to be the best way that I'm able to basically handle this animal uh, without this fantastic and beautiful creature getting away. But whoa, you can see it's kind of digging itself underneath these pine needles to try and dig its way out of my grasp. But that's not going to work today, little coral snake. Jack's World of Wildlife has finally found you after years and years and years of searching. And I'm not letting go until we capture this beauty on video. Oh my gosh. I mean, you guys are going to look at me at home and think, man, this guy's crazy. This is years and years and years in the making filming, finally getting to film this native Alapid to the U.S. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic little snakes. Oh my gosh, folks. This is spectacular. Look at this beauty. Those bright warning colors are there to serve as an extreme warning. Danger, danger, danger. I have a horribly venomous bite. I can mess up your day if you get too close. And that's why uh, I'm holding this end of the coral snake and not that end. Because although these animals are incredibly shy and secretive, in an event like this, this animal doesn't know I'm just here to film it and then let it on its way. It thinks I'm maybe hungry for a little bit of coral snake. And it's gonna defend its life if it feels like it really needs to. What a gorgeous snake. Look at that. Come get a close look, folks. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so ecstatic. I'm on cloud nine right now. My hands are shaking. I am so excited. I was just looking for jumping spiders and I see this iconic red, yellow, and black contrasting bands snaking its way through the pine needles. And I just about had a heart attack. I just about had a heart attack. Luckily, Spencer was rolling. We got that find on camera. Oh, folks, is this not one of the most beautiful snakes you can find here in the US? Take a look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm so pumped. Now, if you are one of the unlucky few to actually receive a bite from one of these secretive snakes, you may be subject to a myriad of symptoms. Being a neurotoxin, the bite itself and initial pain is not typically incredibly painful. Some general soreness followed by a numbing feeling may accompany one of these bites. Other symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, dizziness, pain in the lower back and abdomen, as well as sluggishness may also set in in the hours following the bite. In rare cases though, more extreme symptoms like respiratory paralysis and cardiovascular issues may set in and can potentially lead to life-threatening complications. Though this is a serious bite, no one has died from a coral snake bite in the U.S. in well over 30 years. Hopefully, that can put your mind at ease. Careful, it looks at home, I'm sure, like I am just kind of haphazardly handling this snake, but I am carefully monitoring its behavior, its stress levels, everything that would key me in to know if this animal was getting ready to make a jolt, make a quick and fast movement, and go potentially for a bite. But as you can see, this is a fairly calm animal, not super aggressive, but of course they can kick into that defensive measure if they believe that they are in danger. We can't expect them to do any less. As far as being bitten by a coral snake, this is really the only way you can get it done, folks. Now, it's likely you've heard the rhyme involving these snakes that goes something like red on yellow kill a fellow, red on black venom lack. And while this can be helpful if recited properly, it's far from a reliable diagnostic. 
Firstly, coral snakes are variable. Occasionally, you could run into an albino one, or maybe one that lacks red or yellow pigment. When you only know the rhyme and you come across an aberrant animal, you could easily find yourself in harm's way. Additionally, this only applies to two out of the three coral snakes in the United States. The Arizona or Sonoran coral snake has no yellow coloration whatsoever. The best way to identify these snakes is by the subtle shape of their head, the scale orientation on their heads, and of course the typical twitchy quick movements these reptiles make as they move or feel threatened. At the end of the day, if you are not sure if you're looking at a venomous snake or not, play it safe. Avoid getting too close or making physical contact with the animal. Give them room to move off, and they're most definitely going to take you up on that offer. Now, Elapidae, that is the group of venomous snakes that includes species like king cobras, monocled cobras, sea crates, taipans, and more. And if you know about those other species, you know that they mean business. Some of the most toxically venomous snakes in the world belong to that group Elapidae. And that's why I want to be extra careful today because although this is a small snake, it has powerful, obscenely powerful neurotoxic venom that it uses to quickly kill, procure, and detain essentially its prey. Fast acting paralysis. It can paralyze the respiratory system. It can just go in and just start to wreak havoc on the nervous system of its prey, which is an amazing adaptation if you want to quickly and efficiently essentially destroy your prey, allowing you to eat it at your leisure. While these snakes could easily kill a human being, only one bite in the last 40 years has resulted in a death. This is due to the treatable nature of these snake bites. Neurotoxic venom interacts directly with the nervous system of predator and prey alike, causing paralysis of not just the muscles in the body, but in the respiratory system as well. Without treatment, respiratory paralysis can set in within a few hours of being bitten, causing death by asphyxiation. The last known death occurred, sadly, while the victim attempted to kill the snake. In the end, ignorance and fear took both the snake and the man's life. I understand how these animals could seem scary or intimidating, but they are more than happy to move about their own lives rather than attack or harm us. Do not approach or try to kill any venomous snakes and you will find yourself out of harm's way. Hey cutie. He actually chomped down on this hook a few times. I'm not sure if that's just because this might smell like a previous snake or uh, if he's genuinely that annoyed with us that uh, that uh, defensive side came out to play. Like I said, even though I'm handling this animal and, and I'm, I seem comfortable around venomous snakes, that's my job, I'm a professional. Um, but of course, this is a dangerously venomous animal. A bite from this animal would definitely land me in the hospital to stabilize me. If I didn't treat this bite, I could maybe even possibly get into life-threatening condition. Uh, which is insane to think about. That's why we want to make sure that we are just really being respectful of these reptiles because as cool as they are, as much as we want to find them, once we do find them, we really have to treat them with the respect um, and appreciation that they not only deserve but demand in the field. You can't really get lax with these creatures because uh, they, uh, they've got a way of humbling us. So just how deadly is the bite of the coral snake? Honestly, not terribly deadly at all. Their bites are fairly treatable, even without antivenom, and their shy and secretive nature means that these snakes aren't even likely to bite in the first place. Yes, these are potentially dangerous venomous snakes, but their behavior and bite effects have a hard time making these snakes as deadly as many people believe them to be. Remember, just because an animal can cause serious harm, that doesn't mean that they are actively seeking to do so. The coral snake's venom is a powerful tool to procure food, and without it, these snakes likely couldn't survive at all. So we're gonna let this lovely coral snake right back in the direction it was headed. So folks, come take a close look at this. We're gonna say goodbye to our lovely, lovely little coral. There he goes. Coochie, coochie, coo. 
Goodbye, fantastic reptile. Oh my gosh, luckily Spencer had this trusty little hook and luckily my expert snake catching skills came to our aid and we were able to knock out a fantastic expose on one of the snakes that has consistently evaded me over the past literally six years I have been making my YouTube channel and for a lot longer before that when I used to just only look for this stuff for fun. So I'm super excited that we got to show you guys uh, something that was not just new to you but completely new to me and Spencer as well and I think we knocked it out of the park so thanks so much everyone for tuning in today I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that maybe you learned a little bit of something about the fantastic beautiful and iconic eastern coral snake I hope that you were able to see past that ping of danger and see a beautiful intricate complex and well-adapted animal these snakes are so iconic so cool and I'm finally happy to check off a native coral snake so cool. Thanks so much, everyone. I hope you learned something. I hope that you had a great time. And uh, honestly, I think I said everything I wanted to say in the video. So uh, be sure to uh, tell your friends about what an amazing coral snake video you just watched. Um, but other than that, thanks so much, folks, for tuning in today. We had a great time. And uh, hopefully we'll see you next week with the next upload. But until then, take care of yourselves. And I will see you next time.